Hello World Outreach Revival Center. This is Pastor David Meeks. This is Thursday at noon. Daily Word of Encouragement. So I'm going to wait here. I'm in my office at my home. I'm going to wait here for just a couple of minutes and see who would like to join me for just a good word of encouragement. And just maybe, just maybe God might touch you a little bit as we examine his word together. It is 12 noon and uh, sitting at my desk. So just kind of letting you know I'm here. Amen. So we'll see who is going to join along. I'm going to ramble for the next five minutes and see if we can't... Uh, Ramble some people together. <laughs> uh, God is good. He is faithful. I'm so thankful for him and his love and his mercy that endures forever. Never, never. So we'll wait a couple of minutes and see who would like to dive in with us and uh, hear God's word. And those that might want to check it out later, it's either way is good. Oops, I bumped my camera. I see somebody's watching me. That might be Sister Tammy. But uh, we're just going to wait a moment and see who might uh, come. We had a powerful service last night. Um, we The music was uh, just by uh, canned, I guess you can call it, but it was very powerful. And the word, I think, was a strong word from the Lord for all of us to hear. So... We'll just wait and see who might join us. And um, I see, I think I see my sister trying to read. Yeah, there's Rose. And uh, somebody else up there. I can't quite make out the face. Very small circle. Um, the top right hand side of my camera. So just, if you're joining me, just uh, give me some uh, some words here or something so we can... Uh, know who you are, but we did have a strong service last night. It was, uh, if you got to watch it, it was uh, uh, real direct in don't neglect the gifts inside of us. Hello, Elizabeth Irving. Don't neglect the gift inside of us, but stir the gift. And the word stir there referred to fanning the flames of a fire. And uh, we also know the Bible declares the Holy Spirit came as tongues of fire. Hello, Bart. Uh, so it is good to have you guys with us, and uh, good afternoon to you, Elizabeth. And we're just going to wait uh, just a few minutes. I think I see Jacob's head up there, a little head popped up. Um, just trying to look at the little icons in the right-hand corner. There we go, right up in there on my phone is little icons. And uh, hello, Jacob, good to have you with us, my friend. And hello to you, Bart. We're just going to wait till about five after, so I've got about two minutes and we're going to get started today. And a lot of times people will watch us and then they'll go, some will go after we're uh, off, offline and watch it. And, you know, hopefully it's an encouraging word to all those that, that do uh, are able to see it and be blessed by it. <clears throat> um, so today was one of those unusual days. I, um, uh, had some things go on. I thought I was going to have to cancel and I was getting ready to uh, say I'm not going to be able to come online because of a uh, situation um, not related to me, but one of my men had a uh, situation that he's dealing with. And so I uh, was about to cancel and then I got a last minute call at 10 minutes till and uh, sure enough, I'm able to have this. So I told Sister Tammy, I said, pray now, please, pray right now, please, that I'll hear God. So a few minutes later, I asked her, I said, did God tell you something for me to speak? And she says, I prayed that you hear him. <laughs> so it's kind of cute. But uh, as I was walking through the kitchen, I felt like God spoke to me. So I'm going to share with what he said. Hello, Shannon West. It is good to have you with us. And uh, my sister Rose and Bart and all you guys, Billy Meeks, good afternoon to you. Um, so thank you for joining me. We're going to get started and just going to give you a quick brief word. The spirit of God just spoke to me just a moment ago. So father, I thank you Lord for your Holy spirit. I ask you God that you will speak to us 
Lord, as we uh, open our hearts up to your word and just share briefly the things that, that you reveal, Lord, as you reveal them to us, uh, it brings strength and healing to us. So we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Bless this day. Amen. Ashton, hello, baby. Good to see you all the way from San Diego. Uh, and Christina, it is good to have you. So I was walking through my uh, kitchen and uh, Brian Palmer sent me a picture. I spoke with Mark Gambino yesterday. And uh, <clears throat> Mark uh, sent me a text that the hurricane was finishing up with them moving on. But <clears throat> he, he told me, I, I prayed with him and, you know, I think I prayed with him. I'm not sure if I did or not. But uh, he shared with me how that uh, the um, uh, hurricane had knocked down a tree in his backyard. It destroyed his shed. Trees all over the place. Um, uh, I saw a post from Doug Kelly driving. Uh, he said, man, the, the, the water is destroying stuff. Uh, Rick Curry said the water is five feet high in the middle of Pensacola. A lot of things get devastated during a storm. Um, and then one of the men um, that works with me, uh, he just got some news about a family member and he had to leave. And it's devastating. <clears throat> and, you know, we've all been through this, every one of us. Uh, and it seems like um, I was sitting yesterday evening and I said to Tammy, I said, you know, the... I didn't have to say this, but the COVID's been here and other things. I said, now we have a hurricane coming. And I said, well, the hurricane missed us. So I said to her, I wonder what's next. Because it's like, instead of thinking you're going to have nothing go on, you just have a, a mindset of saying, well, what's going to happen next? And uh, sure enough, we got a phone call and someone they had to go to the hospital. And <coughs> excuse me. So just crazy stuff goes on. Robert, it's good to have you, by the way. <clears throat> And uh, I might have to get some water in a minute because my throat is wanting to choke me off here for a minute. Excuse me. <coughs> Sister Tammy, if you're watching, please bring me some water. Okay. Um, <coughs> anyway, uh, so I was walking through the living room and, and these different devastations of people's life. And the Spirit of God brought a scripture to my mind. This, it just came on to me. And uh, it said, be still. And know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. And that's a very powerful scripture. So I want to read. It's in Psalms chapter 46. Uh, and I want hello, uh, Robert. Uh, I want to read this to you. Um, in Psalms 46, it says, God is our refuge, strength, and the very present help in the time of trouble. Therefore, will not we fear? Though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God and the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. And what he's saying is, though everything goes crazy, Everything is messed up. Though storms rage, there's another river, and that river is God. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. And he's saying God is the helper for Jerusalem. He's the helper for his people. The heathen raged. The kingdoms were moved. But he uttered his voice, and the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Sister Tammy, you're not online. She's slipping in. <laughs> she got me some water. Thank you very much, baby. So she was online. <clears throat> the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he has made in the earth. He makes wars to cease until the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear asunder. He burns the chariot with fire. And then he goes on, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I'll be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Wow. 
Be still and know that I am God. <clears throat> it kind of just shot through my spirit. So I looked up the word still. Uh, be still in the Greek. It means, uh, the word is rafa. Rafa. Almost sounds like heal, the healer, the rofe. Or sometimes Jehovah rofe is pronounced rafa or rofe. Rafa. And so it's amazing to me that the same word, it's not the same word, but it should, well, let me see. You know what it is. I just noticed that. It is written R-A-P-H-A-H. And that is super close to Rafa, the healer. My God that healeth thee. By his stripes we were healed. <clears throat> That's quite interesting. I never saw this till just this very second, guys. So the word be still, still is the same word as be healed in Rafa. I don't have time to look it up, but I'd like to research right now, and you might do that. But it's pronounced Rofe or Rafa for the healer, and then the word be still is pronounced Rafa, and it's spelled R-A-P-H-A-H, which, if I'm not mistaken, is real close to the same word as uh, uh, the healer. And so, uh, the, on the names of God, he is Jehovah Rophe, the healer, the physician. And so, that word, be still, uh, you, you got to hear this. This is cool. It's an interesting study. I'm just, just discovering this. Uh, is that is that right, Ashton uh, Rof Rafael or Rofe? So it's it's almost the same exact word. Someone might look that up. Uh, this is in the Old Testament. So if you have a moment, you can look up uh, one of the healing scriptures, Jehovah Rofe, and text me the spelling of that because this is R A P H A, and I want to see if it's the same word. It's kind of interesting. Um, but here you go. It means a listen. It means to become feeble, to become idle, to become slothful, to become weak, to cease, to abate. And you say, what in the world are we talking about? Good morning, everybody. Several of you on here. What in the world are we talking about? He says, be still and know that I am God in the midst. Let me, Jehovah R-O-P-H-E, this is R-A-P-H-A-H, so it's real close, it's pronounced very close to the same, Rafa Rofe, and one is the healer, and one is to be still, and in my mind, I think they're close enough to say, because when I'm still, I get healed, did you hear me? When I'm still, I get healed, and the, the Greek word is very close, very similar in both of those. But let me read this first part again, because I think it's interesting. God is our refuge, this is in Psalms 46, and our strength, our very present help in the time of trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, and though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, and though the mountains shake with swellings thereof, says there's a river in the midst of it, and that river is God. That's not shaken. It's the river of God's presence. Let me just say this. Everyone on here, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> you guys know, uh, Joy just put on a be still and healing will come in our way, all, in our ways. Awesome. Every one of you are, are old enough and have been around enough to know catastrophe and disaster, whether in the natural world or the physical world or the emotional world. We've all been there, everyone. We've had disasters happen. We've had deaths happen. We've had sicknesses happen. We've had people we love pass on. The list goes on. And these are heavy, heavy things. That, that and, and we're in a season and time where it's like, it falls this way, then it falls this way, then it falls this way. And uh, you know, um, I said to Tammy last night, I said this, I said, well, I wonder what's coming next because there's been a little bit of peace today 
And the phone rings and Mandy says, look, Jeremy's going to the ER. Well, he, he's all right. He, he uh, has what they call a uh, cluster headache. So it's, it was bad. Um, but you just, you just, your expectancy is sure we're living in a season of time that things are coming and it's not, you know, you, you don't deny it. You just say, okay, when? And so we're forced as a people to either collapse under the pressure of calamity and disaster or have peace in the midst of it. Um, I just got an email from someone yesterday that said they're projecting violence and everything during the election and after the election. Okay, here we go. There's some more. They said, get generators, get food, get guns and all. Okay, whatever. You know, I, we can't stop what might happen. I was thinking today, I said, well, there should be some earthquakes in this area or something go on. I feel like we're in Jumanji, the, the, the first series show, and it's a game. If you ever saw the game at Jumanji, they made a movie out of it. And each time you roll the dice, something crazy happens. Thinking, wow, you know, crazy stuff's going on all around us. It's easy, and we've been, we've been rehearsing this a lot and saying this a lot. It's easy to be overwhelmed by all this stuff. Ashton is over there saying that there's ashes in California because half of California is burning to pieces and you know uh, they have uh, uh, breathing alerts and things going on then up to our right going towards uh, 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 New York and South Carolina and all that there they have tornado outbreaks from the storm that just hit us down the lower part in Panama City and Pensacola and and Alabama they're flooded right now I mean th it's just all over the place and so you're saying, and then the election and the riots and da, 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 da. And so you're saying, how do I handle this? And the answer is this scripture. Let me read it to you one more time, and I'm going to move on down. It says, though the waters roar and be troubled, and though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, go down to verse 10, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen, among everything that goes on, I'll be exalted in the earth because he has the earth's best interest at heart. He loves us so much. And when he says, I'm going to be exalted, it's not, hey, everyone's going to look at me and say, man, you're the great God. <laughs> That's not God's heart is not in that arrogance of pride. When he's exalted, his people are blessed. Did you hear me? Hello, Maddie. Hello, everybody. When, when he's exalted, we're blessed. That's how it works. And he says, I want to be exalted because I can pour out my blessings on you and take care of you. And he says, here's how you do that. He said, be still and know that I am God. And right in the midst of the worst storm that you can have, I'm going to read it in the, the Hebrew. And the word is Rapha. It's almost pronounced the same as Rapha, the healer. But this is Rapha, be still. It says to be slack. To abate, to cease to fail, to faint, to be feeble, to forsake, to be idle, to leave it alone, to be slothful and slack and weak. Say, what in the world? What he's saying is the only time that you're allowed to just be weak and be slack and be nothing. People will say, what's wrong with you? Is when you're resting in who he is. You stop everything. You stop this thinker up here that's going... You stop this thing right here that wants to say negative stuff. You close these things right here that want to watch everything and read everything to feed the mind. And you just stop. And you say, God, I'm going to be still and know you are God. The only way to be still and know that he is God is to say, I'm going to shrink back. I'm going to look slothful. I'm going to look like I don't care. I'm going to look like nothing bothers me. But what they're not going to know is I'm resting in who you are. I'm going to be still and know. I'm going to declare you are God. Did you hear me? Be still and know that I am God. I'm just going to read this real quick. Just hang with me. Yeah. Okay. I'm just double checking something here on something else. Be still and know. Be resolved in your mind. He is God. Every day. You know, right now, I don't know how you are. I know how I am. 
you know, if I have a cold, I'm coughing a little bit. Hmm, I wonder if I've got the virus. A um, little bit of a fever. Oh my, do I have the virus? So this is this is the way we think right now. And so every day is a challenge to say, I'm going to lay my life in the stillness of the Lord. And I'm going to find complete rest in who he is. All through the Bible, he wants us to press on. He wants us to pursue. He wants us to be the army of God. But when it comes to just trusting him, he says, back off. Become slothful. Be still. Just rest in me and know who I am. I am God. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I'll be your strength. I'll be your hope. I'll be your very present help in the time of trouble. That's who God is. So whether it's a hurricane, whether it's a sickness, whether it's a death, whether it's a financial situation, whether it's a fear and anxiety and loneliness, whatever the case is, God is saying, back away from it and step into me. Let me put my big arms around you and rest in me and know that I am God. And that's my desire to put my glory around you and to strengthen you. Pretty awesome God. And you say, well, Pastor Dave, that's not so easily done. Excuse me, I remind you of the day you went to an altar or the day I went to an altar for prayer. We kneeled down or beside a bed or in a car or in a field. And we, we maybe you raised your hands, maybe you didn't, but you said, God, I'm a sinner. Forgive me for all my sins. Come into my heart. I believe you're the son of God and you died and you rose again. Today, I surrender my heart and my life completely to you. Be my Lord and my Savior. Do you remember that day? Immediately, the weight of sin came off of you. The chains were cut. And you knew you were a son of God, a daughter of God. And his peace was overwhelming. And for that split moment of time, nothing mattered except for you were caught up in the glory of who he is. Do you remember? I remember. I was 11 years old. I'm 61 now. I still remember that glorious moment when I was sitting there, standing there, 11 years old, just a baby. And I heard God say, David, it's time. He said that to me twice in my life. I said, God, time for what? He said, your salvation. You've got to make a choice. I cried, I cried, I cried. And at my age, at 11, it would have been uh, 1970. There wasn't a whole lot for a young 11-year-old to get into if he was raised in the right family. But I felt the weight of sin leave me. And I was covered in his presence. It's that simple to do it right now. Salvation the same way. But I'm talking about being still and saying, God, I recognize you in the midst of everything that's going on. You are God. I will not succumb to fear, but I will stand in faith and say, as for me and my house, we will trust and rest in you. So the word of encouragement for today is just be still, back off. But the second half of that is be still and know that he is God. Become complacent and slothful to the issues around you. Hey, have you watched the news today? Did you hear what happened? No, I'm just sitting back drinking tea and relaxing. What's wrong with you? You need to be reading and worrying about this. No, I'm going to be still today and know that he is God. That's where my strength comes from. So I want to encourage you today. Just stop for a moment. And talk to him and say, I'll be still. And I know who you are. You are my God. Though the storms rage and the, the, 
the waves fly and the ocean, the, the mountains fall into the sea and all these things go on, you're still God. So I was walking in the kitchen at about 10 minutes to 12 and said, God, what am I saying today? He said, tell them, be still and know that I am God. I love you all. Good to have you with us. Whew. Ashton, if you're available tomorrow, get a hold of Mimi and tell her you'll do the daily word tomorrow. I'd like to hear what California is saying. If not, it's all right. Tune in tomorrow at 12 noon, expecting a good word from the Lord. We love you so much. Can't wait to service Sunday. Let God bless you and keep you. And be still and know that he is God. Amen. I'm just reading the comments. Thank you so much. And uh, Ashton, get a hold of, uh, oh, sounds good. Uh, well, while everybody's on here, does that mean you're going to do the daily word tomorrow, Ash? I'm going to wait for a response before we hang up. Also, I may not represent all of California. <laughs> They're crazy. Okay. I understand that. Um, Ashton, so definitely, since sounds good with a heart, does that mean you are going to do the word tomorrow? I'm, I'm pinning you down. Thank you, Rose. Um, I'm just waiting on Ash's response here, guys. Thank you, all of you, for joining. Yes, okay. Tune in tomorrow at 12 noon for Ashton Fairchild, my granddaughter, and she's going to bring a strong word of encouragement for you guys. Love you. Cannot wait to see you, especially Sunday. Be blessed. And oh, by the way, I got good news too. Uh, Jacob, are you on here? Uh, Jacob is going to be, uh, I think this next week, Jacob's going to do a word for me as well. So um, it'll be a good time. Love you guys. Be blessed. We'll see you. Bye-bye.